look for some some mid game you know forced team fights by um, T7H because I don't feel the team fight capability of uh, Check Six is nearly as good as that. Um, obviously, they have Pyro AOE stun, Mag AOE stun, AOE nuke slow. Uh, you know, Nevermore AOE nukes, another AOE ultimate nuke. Just, just a lot of good AOE coming in for Check Six. Oh, look at this! They're gonna try and four man gank. Puppet is gonna solo bottom. Oh, I forgot to tell you about how I think the lanes are gonna go. They're gonna dual lanes uh, Chew and solo mid. I don't know exactly what they're gonna do, um, but I assure you they uh, oh they're putting four bot or four mid for a second there maybe a miscommunication people don't know the exact lanes they're going to uh, plague rotating back to top now pestilence with the invis in mid they're gonna try getting two right off the bot right off the bat I don't know if he knows pesty is there he must though uh, and obviously the dual lane here pesty gonna miss some farm. Uh, Top and it also looks like Desham Behemoth in mid. Oh no, Behemoth was just sitting mid hoping for the game. Um, yep. So anyway, they are going to run a dual lane against Soul Stealer. Uh, that basically is a pretty standard counter. Uh, I I don't know why other teams haven't done it that much because it, it the last time Soul Stealer Chu in mid was against a dual lane. It was a Witch Slayer Blacksmith or a Pyromancer Blacksmith, and Chu was forced to crow stack. Uh, neutral creeps in order to come back into the game because he was level 2 when Pyro Blacksmith reached level 3 or he was level 3 when they reached level 4, something like that. Either way, as a solo, he was behind in levels. Um, really, you know, that, that shouldn't happen. Some action going on top, some good harassment. Um, overall, the Blacksmith in the lane with Corrupted Disciple, I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is what it is. Uh, Puppet here bottom me is Pyro Mag. He's definitely going to need some help once they hit level 3. Just too much change stun capabilities. Either he's going to have to sit back at his tower, or he's never going to get a CS. Uh, creep score, of course, that's what it's called in, in Dota. Just I'll, I'll try not to do that. Uh, he'll never get creep kills um, against that lane. But uh, overall, nothing too tricky here. Desham harassing uh, Solstice just a little bit. Chu with only three tangos. I think he's not going to like himself very much on that. Let's see, how much gold is Chu sitting on here? He's going to try and bring that. Oh, Bloodlust going top. Smackdown. And that is a double kill for check six. Not going to be happy with that one. I'm sorry I missed that gank, guys. Um, or that that play, I guess. And really, that that's going to put Behemoth and Plague so far behind. They're both level one. Oh no, I mean, I'm sure Blacksmith and Corrupted are almost level 3 by now. Really just not not where you want to be against Check 6. You do not want their Corrupted Disciple getting fed. You do not want a Blacksmith that can grab, you know, a quick phase boots and run around and gank a lot. Or, you know, he may go, obviously, some other form of boots, but... Um, Puppet Master doing a decent job here on bottom. Not, you know, not taking too much damage. And still getting some creep score in. Uh, getting some creep kills in. Trying to see here. Mag Pyro. Pyro really not playing forward enough in the lane, in my opinion. He needs to sit there and trade damage with Puppet Master. Because what's Puppet going to do? He's not going to be able to kill him. There's two of them, and they have a chain stun combo. See, there we go. Pyro Master obviously playing at the lane right now. Uh, really doing what he needs to do. Uh, just keep that Puppet off. You know, you, you don't want to let Puppet Master get any CS. That's why you're running two on one against their carry. Same reason they're doing that to uh, Soul Stealer in mid. Now, we see them going on uh, Nonvidius here on top. Nonvidius using a fissure to get out, blocking Corrupted Disciple from coming into the lane. Great play by Nonvidius. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Definitely huge, though, because Corrupted Disciple was coming in. He was blowing his nukes. He was attacking. He was going to do some serious damage, if not get another kill. And here we go, some harassment in mid by DCM. They're not going to play on it, though. Um, either way, good fissure by Nonvidius. You know, good players are not just using... The, the fissure as a stun, they're using it as basically a placement disable, a movement disable. And you know, a good play right there. Magnus stunning in on Puppet Master on bottom. Pyro also stunning. Puppet Master probably gonna go down. Like I said, as soon as they hit level 3, it's just too much chain stun burst to deal with. And Puppet going down. T7H looking just really bad right now. Um, things not going their way. I don't honestly like the d Pestilence combo in mid. I would have liked something far more aggressive as opposed to a babysit. Uh, lane against against him, but it is what it is. Uh, Chu with an empty bottle. They will be doing their best to rune control against Chu. You don't want to give Soul Stealer bottle control because especially he gets a haste or double damage. You're you're taking some some serious damage. Um, another Smackdown coming in for uh, Boromakot. I actually don't know how to pronounce his name. 
Uh, Puppet was trying to come in top and save him. Nonvidius, not enough mana for Fissure. I believe it's 125. Yeah, does get the Fissure off on Disciple. Disciple is going to go down here, but he takes Puppet with him. Uh, check 6 is just so far ahead right now. I mean, they're already just crushing... Uh, T7H. Magnus coming in here, probably going to get a stun on Demented Shaman. Uh, Soul Stealer, really not in the fight right there. Oh, he gets stunned by Pestilence. I would like to have seen Soul Stealer be up there a little bit more. Maybe a miscommunication. Um, Pestilence going to try and chase it down. Probably going to get the kill here. Port's coming in for uh, mid, but it was a little too little too late. Uh, Teal also coming down, which would be non vidious Coming over. Demented Shaman going to go down. Pestilence might get out though. DCM was coming over to try and save Pesty, and depending on the level of that heal, I think he might have. Pestilence went down to about 110 health. I don't think the heal does 120 yet though for DCM, so I think DCM actually did save Pestilence there. Um, yellow coming back to his lane on bottom. Uh, blacksmith farming top as opposed to Disciple. Kind of an odd situation in my opinion. Already phase boots on Disciple. That is so brutal. He's just going to, as soon as he hits 6, he's just going to chase kids down with his nuke and his ult. Um, looks like they're going to be rotating 3 bottom here. Uh, check 6 with good wards, by the way. I was hoping that those would be T7Hs, but they're not. Puppet Master about to get mag stunned here. And just playing too far forward. Nice tree eat. Mag stun. Pyro chain it. You're dead. Uh, Puppet Master just getting crushed on bottom. Like I said, based on the picks, I was expecting a lot of roaming coming down because I wanted to see Disciple farming and Chu farming, and then the other three kind of rotating lanes and such. What we're actually seeing here is a Disciple pseudo roaming. Um, obviously, he got those phase boots early, so it's not out of the question for him. Blacksmith bringing himself a bottle, probably. Oh no, he's not going to go on them. I thought I saw someone else top. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Looks like Magnus missed the stun there on Pestilence. Uh, but the Mag Pyro Lane, you, you really do need something like a Pestilence there, with hopefully a DCM. I mean, he's got 815 health. Should be able to survive a Chain Stun combo from Mag Pyro, but I can't really say too much. Um, overall, let's take a look at the experience minute and gold per minute. Uh, check 6 at almost 10,000 experience, whereas uh, T7H at 6,600. They're, you know, at 66% of the experience. Oh, no, here we oh, never mind, DCM's on. Puppet Master's... Side, I thought there was a game coming, I apologize. Uh, and then the gold, of course, 11,000 for check 6, and a little over 7,000 for uh, T7H. Corrupted Disciple getting another pick on Plague. Like I said, Plague's just going to get overrun in his lane. Yeah, he's got great harassment capabilities, and yes, the Plague uh, Behemoth combo is nice. Also, I'm sorry, I missed a gank on Demented Shaman. As I said, their babysitters are going to get crushed by this heavy burst damage team. Um, Massacre! And another kill top. Wow, I can't even keep up with all the kills. Check 6 is racking up. This is looking like it might end up being a 15 minute concession. Uh, if that's a word, concede, whatever. Chu sitting at 370 gold a minute. Blacksmith at almost 350. And the rest of the team around 250. Uh, T7H averaging about 150 to 200. Uh, with, of course, Pestilence as their carry farming relatively well at 270. But really, when, when you're looking at a Magmus who's not farming that well, and, and a Corrupted Disciple that's roaming, having almost as much gold as a Pestilence trying to farm and carry. It's just looking bad right now. Um, puppet Show, not... Oh, there's a slow. They may be able to get the Puppeteer's hold. Port's coming in. Both people in mid are, bit, are dead unless they back up now. Port cancelled. Uh, Mag is by himself on bottom. I believe the slow is already used by DCM. Oh, the Purge is definitely not what Magnus wanted to see right there. Um, T7H trying to make their way back into this game. Uh, Nonvidius up top with boots, but I don't think he's going to be able to even come close to farming that lane. You have Disciple that's 5, Blacksmith that's 7. Um, Blacksmith really farming well. I, I wonder what he's going to be getting. Because normally, obviously, you want to see your Corrupted Disciple getting those kills. Blacksmith, you know, he's got boots, he's fine. His multicasts alone are enough to, to really get him through anything. Uh, Pyromancer bringing himself wards has the mana battery, has a bottle. I mean, Pestilence, Boots, mana battery, hatchet, DCM with nothing, a couple clarities, or a couple mana potions, a couple uh, minor totems. Really, just this game looking utterly bad for, for T7H, which is a shame because they've had so many great wins so far in this tournament. And I really think they're a better team than, than what their ranking gives them. 